All right, let's do it. What is up with low energy related to travel? And potentially we'll say vacations, but just why do I have low energy when I'm traveling? Because I don't know about you, but when I'm traveling, that's when I want to have the most energy because there are things I want to do. And if it's a business trip, there's like things I need to get done. If it's a vacation, well, you know, like I want to just jam in as much as possible. And so rather than just going to these energy drinks, right? And the sodas and all these things that people do to try and sidestep the low energy, I'm here to give you just a couple of quick tips on how to up your energy specifically when traveling and on vacation. Okay, number one, we dehydrate. Oh yes, we do when we're traveling. It's a true story. Our bodies absolutely dehydrate, especially when you're on an airplane, okay? We've got the change of atmospheric pressure, Oh my God, cabin pressure, we are mostly water, we dehydrate. So I need you to hydrate. <laughs> Am I gonna say happy body weight in ounces? No, gag me, that's what nutritionists say and dietitians, and I'm not into that. But I want you to be conscious and I always bring a bottle or I buy sometimes some smart water, okay? I like water that has electrolytes in it when I travel. Um, I can't think of the other names, but I buy electrolyte water a lot when I travel. I like Evian. I think it's got some sea salt in there and that always gives me something and makes me feel like I'm absorbing. It's so number one, hydration. Number two, and this is interesting. I learned this 20 years ago, okay, uh, in nutrition school. And the coolest thing ever, 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 ever. So when we travel, we're actually not losing energy, but the food we eat pretty much on a daily basis, especially if it's fried or over or cooked food. It takes our energy and our body to digest the food. Let me say it again. It takes our body to digest the food. So what do we need to do then when we're on vacation or when we're traveling and we have low energy? What we need to do is we need to eat foods that give us energy. And that is raw fruits and vegetables. So if you can eat a piece of fruit while you're traveling, and I always say, celery, carrots, organic raw peppers, whatever you like that's raw, you're gonna be amazed at how much energy you are going to have from that. So I don't need to get all complicated for those who've been following me a while. You know my stuff is simple, fun, and easy. So for more energy on trips, number one, I need you to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And by the way, coffee, caffeinated beverages, sodas, do not count as hydration, they actually dehydrate you. Caffeinated teas dehydrate you. Herbal tea does not dehydrate you, so that counts. And number two, I need you, need you, need you to have raw fruits and vegetables because the vitamins and minerals are going to give you energy. So hopefully that gives you what you're looking for. And as always, if you love my stuff, you know where to find me. You got a comment, leave me one, and uh, I will talk to you soon.